heading actually toward Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to take a loop around north, uh, heading up into North Carolina. Uh, it's a 390 mile deadhead. Who? For a 2300 mile run. Who? <laughs> That averages out that's about 15% deadhead. I think 16, 16% deadhead. So that's not too bad, really. I mean, it's a long deadhead, but it's a really long run, so it's worth it. So we're going to go up to Fayetteville, North Carolina, and pick up a trader going to Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, yay! So anyway, we're going to go out there. It's a furniture load, uh, like a, a household movers. Uh, we're going to pick that trader up, take it up there, and then they say they've got a trader out in Phoenix. Going to Massachusetts. Yeah, well, I don't really want to go to Massachusetts, but you know, it's 4,000, uh, almost 5,000 miles. So, yeah, I, I haven't been there in a while, so what the heck? Let's take you along up there, I guess. You never know. By the time I get out there, maybe that load won't be there and they'll put something else on me. So, you just never know. But as it looks right now, we got to take this off ramp here. And uh, as it looks right now, we're going up to Fayetteville to pick up a trailer, going to uh, Tucson, and then from Tucson, deadhead to Phoenix, pick up Phoenix, going to uh, uh, Massachusetts somewhere. So, uh, I'm going to shut up and go listen to some music, I guess. It's the next morning. We are in uh, Georgia. Got uh, got over to uh, Fayetteville last night. Picked up uh, this trailer, and as you can see, it's a Mayflower trailer. Uh, it's got two families' uh, household goods on there. Um, picking up in Fayetteville, Georgia, going to Tucson, Arizona. Uh, well, that's military. That's got to be military stuff, you know, military families, and uh, being transferred from one base to another. <clears throat> then I got to thinking, wait a minute, Fort Fayetteville is Fort. Fayetteville is Fort uh, Bragg, and uh, out in uh, Arizona, it, uh, in Tucson, that's um, Air Force. I can't remember the name of it, but it's an Air Force base. 
Well, why would an army be in shipped to the air? It didn't make sense. So I looked on the map and realized in Fort Bragg, there's also a little Air Force base there called Pope Air Force Base. So more than likely, this is two uh, Air Force uh, families being moved, uh, transferred out to Arizona. So with that said, uh, this trader is not the best trader in the world. It's doable, <laughs> but it's not very nice. It's kind of, it shows its age. It's, it's kind of beat up and tore up. Uh, these boxes underneath are about half wore up. <laughs> just don't seem to work very good. Uh, for instance, all, all the lights work, but that light up there, there's no lens on it. So it's just a white light. Um, and then like the wheels here, uh, they're all rusted out and nasty. The tires are okay and all the oil, you know, all the bearings have oil in them and everything but they're just not very good shape. So, and then uh, I was back here on the back of this trailer, uh, checking all the lights last yesterday, and had the four ways, you know, all the lights on and the four ways on, and this turn signal down here wasn't working. So I come over and do that, <laughs> and it starts working. So, <laughs> uh, it's not very nice. But I got to thinking, um, I woke up this morning and, uh, I got to thinking a lot of my videos I think kind of show the the brighter side of, of uh, trucking you know the, the 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 glamorous side not glamour I guess but you know it's just that's too strong of a word I guess but the nice side I try to put a positive spin on trucking and all that you know uh, it's been good to me over the years so uh, there's a lot of bad stuff in trucking too and people like to point that out but yeah, you, you focus on the negative, you get the negative. So I try to fo focus on the positive. It was kind of hard this morning. I woke up, I'm like, what the, what's that smell? <laughs> and uh, here comes a truck. <laughs> it's going to get noisy. So anyway, uh, I'm sitting there smell smelling around. I'm like, what in the world's that smell? And uh, one of them tankers, we, I showed you the other a couple videos ago. That's one of them tankers. So. Anyway, I'm sitting there saying, what's that smell? And I couldn't, you know, man. And it wasn't terrible. I mean, it wasn't like a skunk or something, but it was just, you can smell it and it wasn't pleasant. Well, I get up and look around <laughs> and uh, this is what's parked beside, all right? It's the only parking spot there was left last night. I pulled in here and it's just stagnant, nasty old stinky water. And I'm thinking, well, you know, why wouldn't that dry up? Well, I get over here and I get to looking and there's a, a spring up there somewhere and it comes running across the parking lot here and it just brings in this kind of nasty, stagnant, stinky old water. And then I noticed behind these containers, these trucks up here, it's just nasty, slimy stuff and it stinks. It's kind of like that stuff that drips out of the bottom of a, 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 a dumpster, you know, just kind of nasty, stinky smell stuff. So, welcome to the glamorous side of trucking, huh? <laughs> uh, it's not all fun and games. It's not all smoking the bandit. So, it's, it's, can, it's, some of it can be pretty nasty. But, uh, but anyway, that's what I've, I'm over here in Georgia and getting ready to drive across to, uh, 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 Georgia and Mississippi, Alabama and all that. Uh, get over to Louisiana tonight. I won't be able to get to uh, get home. I, I can get home, but my logbook won't let me get home. So I'll get over somewhere close to Shreveport tonight and then tomorrow I'll drive on back to the house. And then I'll, I gotta do a, a restart somewhere along this run, so I might as well do it at the home, you know? So, so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, and I do need to get this truck washed, but it's supposed to rain today. So, I mean, just every time you turn around, hey, I get this truck washed, it's gonna rain, you know? So, eventually I get it scrubbed down. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, see, and another thing, I, I can only come around, I can only get to the truck this this one way because of all that water and nasty stuff. So I have to walk around the front of the truck. Yeah, it's just, you run across these truck stops sometimes. It just, some of them are nasty.